Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily re reading for the weekend. This is Anna and this is the reading for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, November 14, 15, 16. And that means TGIF. We're here. It's here. We're here. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I've been sort of low key this week. And I think that's good. Sometimes I need to tone it down a bit. <laughs> All right. So we've got the four. We continue with this. By the way, we're continuing this this uh, material, like money reading. It's like all week. It's about money and things and finances. And here we are. The first card I pulled was the Four of Pentacles. Seriously, followed by the uh, the Wheel, the, the Seven of Spades. We had that earlier in the week, and a new card, the um, the King of 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 uh, Clubs. Excuse me. We had the Queen of Clubs um, yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay, so. First card here, Four of Pentacles, the card, again, it's it's greed, okay, but this is someone who's like literally eating their money, and if you look at this figure, let me see if I can bring it here, they're putting, they're, they're, they have one of the coins, and they're about to chew on it, they're about to eat the, the money, it's hilarious, and they're holding this here, which is, I don't know, is that like a, a what is it, like pork or whatever, I don't know, if they're going to make a ha or ham, I don't know what that is, but... You know, it's like they really want everything for them. Me, me, me. Excuse my light source here. It's, let me try to move it. Anyway, whatever. So, yeah. This card is a, a card of material obsession. Okay? It's a material obsession. Material girl. You know that I'm a material girl. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. <laughs> so, you get it, right? It's like, that's what this card is about. It's like, someone who, I mean, they their mental um, outlook about money and their feelings everything socially it's like they, they they might as well take make a salad out of dollar bills or whatever of you know and and eat it and they they might as well eat the money you know because that's how they act and that's how they feel about the money it's an obsession it's a material obsession so what happens with this material obsession you're confronted with this wheel card ooh, and it's upright which means that this, this gimme, 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 I have it all, it's all for me, I'm a material girl, or oh, material boy, you know, that kind of thing, that feeling, huh? Well, that's gonna, I hope they're enjoying this moment because this card is saying things are gonna change, alright? This person, you know, they work so hard, they were literally an ass on their way up to, to their financial success, and they're up there, and I am... I'm the bomb, right? And then bam, down they go. And it's like an ongoing um, cycle here. All right, it's a cycle. Even when they're down, their mental outlook of money is the same. And then when they're up here, their mental outlook is even worse. But this person is subjected to these constant changes because they need to learn. They need to learn how to share you know, they haven't learned to share. And that's what's going on here with this Four of Pentacles. This is someone who doesn't share. This is someone who does not give, you know? You know, it's like you ever, ha you know, know someone who, uh, in their high points, I mean, they're so giving and generous. And they go out of their way to, um, for example, gift something beautiful or thoughtful for someone's birthday. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, but not this person. This person's not thoughtful at all. It's just me, 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 me. So there's a uh, changes here, and again with the seven, um, the seven of spades, saying there is a decision. It's not last time well, earlier in the week. It was in reverse, right? But upright, it's saying that uh, we are in fact um, we have the power. Um, to um, enforce a decision, enforce our beliefs, uh, uh, and really put our foot down this time. Okay, where it, we, this energy is giving you the go ahead. It's the motivator. It is protecting um, your decision to say enough with you, enough with this. I am so tired of this already. I am tired of you behaving in this manner. So yes, this card is saying, put your foot down, okay? Because it's much too much. 
And it's interesting, the figure here, you see this man, he looks like a gigolo. He has all these women surrounding him, you know, and it kind of makes me think of this fellow over here with the... <laughs> Except that instead of women surrounded by women, he's surrounded by money and things, you know. Um, but that seven of spades energy is saying you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and and enforce once and for all. Um, you know, you, you're enforcing that right to say enough with you and your attitudes and your outlook. Um, because I've had it, I've had it with you behaving like you're the gigolo like you have everything in you know within reach and it, yeah good for you if you do have everything within reach but your behavior is disgusting so that's what we're doing we are ridding ourselves of this disgusting behavior okay um we're ridding ourselves of that the king of <clears throat> excuse me the king of clubs is saying in its upright position um is telling us that yeah we are going to be successful we're going to achieve the success um from putting our foot down in the seven of spades okay so when we put these two together you know at the clubs near a spade spells uh financial good tidings for you okay so whatever decision you're making you're tired of this person taking and taking from you or wanting and that kind of thing letting them go will um actually make you feel more comfortable and you're spending less of your precious time and energy because time you know time is precious and it's valuable okay and you don't need to waste your time that is valuable um over situations and people who are not to the to the standard that you are at you know you're they're not um you're a different caliber of person that's what this card is telling me you're the king of clubs is telling me you are a person of high caliber and character and integrity and you don't need all of this over here okay so put your foot down and let this go away you don't need this you don't need the greedy people and the the people who are constantly um, gauging the clothes that you wear and the cars that you drive and that kind of thing. Um, people who gauge um, your character, who you are as a person by the things they see on the outside, you know, they are, you know, they, they're not enriching individuals. They're not good for you. They're not, you know, this, this is not the type of person who in the long run um, will be loyal to you because when that money is gone they're not going to be loyal to you and so that's what this you know after all this rambling on that's what I get here loyalty you know people are loyal to you they should be loyal to you when you're up and when you're down as indicated by the wheel you know not just when you're up and they shouldn't be so damn greedy when they're up completely just setting you aside like you're trash because you're not trash you're a valuable person all right i went on way too long i'm sorry but i hope this reading gives you um a sense of i don't know, of hope of, of of knowing that you are a valuable person you are cherished in love you're protected and that you too deserve quality things especially quality people in your life okay because people of this caliber over here they're not quality when the money is gone and it's not in the bank they're not even going to be there so think about that all right especially to you viewers who are doing super well and successful god bless you good for you um but do keep that in mind because there are people that when you're doing well boy oh boy whoo you are invited to everything and up and down and here and there but if something happens god forbid that you're not at that standing you know that you are now financially boom they're gone you know so just keep that in mind all right i, I that is way too long have a blessed weekend wonderful weekend is the end of our tarot oracle journey and i will see you again on monday bye bye